What is up everyone, Polartron here, back with another reaction and today I'm going to be checking out another Darman video. This one is called Straight A Student Drops Out of College by Dar. Now yeah, if I was a straight A student and I was in a college, I would not drop out unless it's a very good reason and I feel like she has a good reason not to drop out. Maybe she's already successful, she doesn't need college. But yo, if you're a straight-A student, that's a good job, but like, if you don't need college, then fuck it, bro, just, you know, drop out. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we're starting out right now. <clears throat> Have you ever tried studying in a brown house? The TV's always blasting, and people are constantly yelling, yet. Yeah. Somehow, you're expected to get straight A's. Dude, oh, don't like... That doesn't work. Mm. Non-Americans take school you so seriously. This. Or like, people from it's Asia here. take school so seriously. What's here? Your acceptance letter from the university. You already opened it? Of course. They are giving you a full Without permission. Now you will be a doctor, Dith. That's great. Why aren't you more excited? <laughs> I mean, that's cool, but like, if you don't no, want to do it, no, then wait, no. who cares? What is this nonsense? Are these jokes? I've been practicing comedy, and I really like it. Mom, I think I want to do stand up. Are you kidding? Do you want to give a bad name to our family? What? How so? There are tons of successful brown comedians. Adam W, Mindy Kaling, and Devin Hart. No, Kevin you Hart. are going to be a doctor, not some bloody comedian. Now get back to studying. For what? Stanford's already accepted me. Doesn't matter. You still need to be valedictorian at your school. Studying for so something no you don't even have. Time. Bro, this is stupid. Yo, this is dumb. Like, seriously. Her dad's a doctor, I think. You're gonna have to move out if you wanna do comedy. Cause your mommy ain't gonna let you do. Oh shit. The Karen's here. No. Something like that. They were really dumb. <laughs> Is it that obvious? What do you mean? They're really funny. So you're Yo, you're let me see one. Them. Yeah. Like let me see a I joke. I'm gonna be a comedian one day and maybe even have my own Netflix special. Still okay, amazing. okay. But could be possible. Isn't your major pre no. It's actually tent making. Wait. Are, are you serious? <laughs> Come on, I'm Indian. I was basically born pre-med. <laughs> hey, you could have very well been a tent making major. <laughs> you know what? I just got back from the student involvement fair and apparently there's a comedy club here. They're having an open mic tomorrow at six. You should go. Wow. I don't know. I've never done stand up before. Well, here's your chance. Yeah, you have to start from somewhere. Yeah. It's just that my mom's really not on board with this. She wants me to be a doctor, just like my dad. Not sure. So he's a doctor. This. Look, you can't do things just to please your mom. <clears throat> Besides, I'm sure your dad won't mind if you are a doctor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just, I wish he was still here. My dad, he always told me to follow my dreams and not anyone else's. But yo, your mom is a Karen. The same. Oh, wait. <laughs> your dad passed away. Really? That's two so. Years ago. That's so sad. I'm so sorry. 
But maybe that's even more reason for you to go to the open mic. To prove everyone wrong. And show your dad that you can follow your dreams. Mom, you can't just come in here whenever you want. You at least have to knock. <laughs> Nonsense. We're Indian. We don't knock. Anyway, Bro, what I just the ran fuck? into a wonderful doctor in the supermarket. I told him all about you, and he said that he lets pre-med students work in his office. It's perfect! Bro, speak for yourself. No, what's <clears throat> this? Comedy club? <laughs> Not this again. You don't have time for some silly club. You have to study. Yeah, but mom, I want to do other things too. My whole life can't be all about studying. Yes, it can. No. My cousin Preeti started med school at 20. You need to catch up. Yeah, but mom... No I... daughter of mine is going to waste her life being a jokester. No, it's called a comedian. Not a jokester. Anyway, you will meet with the doctor tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. I've already set it up. 6? I have something going on at that time. What could be more important than this? Cancel your plans. But mom, I don't want to hear it, Div. This is your future we're talking about. Now make sure you get there early. Bro, she's treating her like a child. I'll see you tomorrow. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know. Just don't listen to her. I can't believe she'd do this. What do you think I should do? If I'm being honest, I think you should listen to your dad on this one. That's right. You're right. Thank you. Let's see more jokes. And that is why you never Oh, she's actually going to be there. Who work at the same fast food restaurant. <laughs> All right. Let's hear it for Hobie. And uh, next Hobie? up, we have Divya. Now, this is her first time performing, so let's welcome her to the stage with a warm round of applause. Finally, I thought you weren't going to show. Listen, Divya, something happened. Okay, tell me later. I gotta go. Just wish me luck. Divya. Oh, no. She's going to get her ass kicked. Thank you, everyone. My name is Divya, and I'm a freshman at Stanford, and I'm pre-med. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I've been training my entire life for this. While other kids were at pre-K, Desi kids were at PSAT prep. And while other babies were learning to walk, Desi kids were training to become mini Meredith Grays. What the hell's that? And while other kids' first words were dada and bye-bye, Desi kids' first words were push 10 of epi. <laughs> what the f- I don't even understand these jokes. I mean, now, don't get me wrong. Indian parents love their kids. It's just conditional love. You know, as long as I was getting straight A's and winning spelling bees, I had nothing to worry about. But if I came home with an A-, minus, my mother would erase me from her memory completely. You know, like we would be at the supermarket and people would say, Oh, is that your daughter? And my mother would say, No, that is not my daughter. That is some girl who brings over. That's not a good minus. joke, to be honest. <laughs> That's a stupid joke, but. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I don't mean to put my mom in a bad light, but if she were here. Did you. Oh. You got. Meet me outside. Now! Dang. Say goodbye to your dream forever. I I'm so sorry. I, I should get going. I gotta go. I'm sorry. Ah. Just drop the mic. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, don't worry. The show's gonna continue in just a minute. How could you do that to me? You humiliated me in front of everyone. You humiliated? I'm the one who's humiliated. Finding you at some club instead of the dinner with the doctor. You're an hour late. 
Mom, I told you I had plans today. And besides, I don't even know that doctor. And neither do you. What disgraceful behavior. Now get yourself together so we can go. We'll tell him that, that you were lost and you couldn't find the place. I don't even want to go. What, do you want to stay here and keep doing this nonsense? Why do you have to, such to be honest, her jokes aren't that good, so... Because it's a distraction. I don't know, man. Maybe you she's nervous and it's her first joke. I don't want to be a doctor. You want me to be a doctor. Oh, fuck. She is going to get a heart attack from hearing that. Listen, Mom, I don't want to be a doctor. And I don't want to go to college. Uh, don't I say that. You're going to get your ass kicked. I love making people laugh. You're going to get your ass kicked. I I can be successful. You're going to get your ass kicked. Just give me a chance. You're going to get your ass kicked. You want to drop You're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to get your ass kicked. Go ahead. And fail then. Just know that you are bringing great shame on this family. No, I'm not. Bro. Yes, you are. So what's it going to be? Are you going to come with me to meet the doctor or not? Dude. You are making a huge mistake. I don't want to see your face anymore. Bro, what type of mom says that? What type of mother says that? Dude, she needs to be ashamed of herself. Did you tell my mom where I was? No, no, she must have seen it on the flyer, but... I did see her in the parking lot. I tried to warn you. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just tired of hiding this from her. You've been an awesome friend and roommate, even if it's the first week of school. If it wasn't for you, I would have never come here tonight. What are you saying? Yeah, she told her to do I'm it. I'm dropping out of college. What? Are, are, are you sure this is the right decision? Just for a semester. I have to at least try to give this comedy thing a real shot. And if I'd it doesn't say, work out, I can always re I mean, you could you could do college and do this on the side because it's not big yet. Like, I'd say, I'd say stay in college, but just drop out when you feel like you're in a good position. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Um, I'll miss you as my roommate. <laughs> I believe in you, Divya. Thanks for everything, Jasmine. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see you on the big stage one day. <laughs> While still sacking gas, but you need to get your jokes better. Divya drops out of college to pursue her dream. She ends up getting a job at a local cafe to help pay her bills. During her downtime, That's gonna be she tough. practices her jokes every chance she gets. You need practice, because your jokes in the beginning were kind of bad. She continues to do stand-up comedy at open mics whenever she can. She gets more and more comfortable performing her jokes and keeps getting better. As time goes on, okay. more people okay. hear about this new comedian in town that's making everyone laugh. I hope the jokes get better. Her jokes are a big hit and the audience goes wild. Eventually, she even gets approached by one of her favorite comedians, Devin Hart. Kevin Hart? Who offers to collaborate what the hell? with her. What happened to Kevin Hart? Divya can't believe it. Several months later, Divya ends up selling out big shows. You got body guards thank you so much would you mind signing this for me of course not there you go thank you so much thank you i'm sorry man but you can't no it's okay that that's my mom can you guys give us a moment I hope she regretted it. It's been a long time. Too long. How did you know I was here? Are you kidding? 
you're all over the place. It's impossible to miss. And you're even on the billboards. So I decided to buy a ticket to the show. Wait, you came to see my show? I actually thought it was very funny, Divya. She was at the show? Thanks. I, I wasn't expecting that from you. I was wrong about your comedy. I thought being a doctor was the only way to be successful. But it isn't. <laughs> Clearly, I was wrong. And not everyone's a doctor. I'm like, so how many doctors are there? Mom. Like, a million doctors in the world? What about the rest of the people? They're not doctors. I have something to show you. What is that? Is Her that dad was a comedian? Dad was a comedian too. That's where you get it from. Why didn't he she tell? He wanted so badly to be a comedian. But his family wanted him to be a doctor. He didn't want to shame them, so he gave up his dream. That's sad. I didn't want to admit it before. Because it hurt too much. If he saw that I did the same thing to you, he wouldn't be happy. <laughs> You're funny. Just like him, you know? Even the mom jokes. <laughs> Even the mom jokes, Deb. Your father would be so proud. Yo, this is so, getting emotional. But we do need to have a talk about a few of those jokes that I don't find so funny. What are those? Say I was controlling, huh? <laughs> Come on. Is that even a real question? <laughs> Damn. Are you in a rock and roll? But yo, that's the end. Straight A student drops out of college. What happens next is shocking. But yo, this gets like a 7 out of 10 for me. But let me know what you guys think. Peace.